Hello, welcome to Civic Education. We are still looking at uh, governance systems. So in today's lesson, we want to look at the characteristics of uh, elections in good governance. So the characteristics of uh, elections in good governance are as follows. One, uh, elections in good governance, they must be periodic. So elections must be held when they are due and uh, elected officials must return to their electorates at some point to seek their mandate to continue in office. For example, in the 2021 general elections, Zambia was crippled with the coronavirus. So even if there was coronavirus which uh, would pose a challenge to the health of the general population, elections were uh, held. So because the government uh, by then wanted to obey the constitution, so in a dictatorship or bad governance, uh, they would use that as a reason for not holding elections. So in that score, Zambia uh, would be classified by then as a, uh, a country with good governance because elections were held and they have been holding elections every after five years. Elections in good governance uh, is competitive, meaning election must take place in a conducive political environment where all candidates can compete fairly. No violence is permissible. Then uh, inclusive. Elections in good governance, all eligible voters should be allowed to vote without any discrimination. Uh, even if uh, you have an area where you don't score a lot of votes, you score zero give the people chance to register and vote freely without infringing them to say no let, let us take 40 registration machines to that area so that they don't register in numbers it should be decisive the winning candidate or party should not be prevented from taking office this is because democratic election determine the leadership of who government so once someone wins they should be allowed to uh, hold office, meaning those who have lost, they should be, uh, they, should, they, they should relinquish power, they should st uh, step aside and allow winners to uh, govern uh, the country. So uh, the next thing that we need to talk about is Zambia's electoral system. So 1996 amended constitution of Zambia prescribed or states the simple member majoritarian system, single member plurality plural system. However, the continuation was amended in 2026, 2016, and uh, the president of Zambia, Ed Kachagwarungu, assented or signed to use the single member majoritarian SMMS for presidential elections only. Then the National Assembly, Parliamentary and Local Elections, uh, we still use uh, uh, first past the post, okay, the one who scores highest votes uh, wins. So an electoral process, what is an electoral process? An electoral process is a series of stages of events involved in selection of representatives through an election. So the following are the stages involved in electoral process in uh, Zambia. So they can tell you to draw this okay and uh, the flow chart and you you put in necessary steps so number one legislation framework they have to enact laws that to support those elections then in the limitation of constituencies dividing but bigger constituencies they are divided into two or three wards polling districts are created then voter education you educate people on the importance of um uh, voting. This is where you see now adverts on television by Electoral Commission of Zambia educating the importance of voting and also badness of vote buying and so forth. Then the registration of voters after education, then verification of voters' role, uh, then nomination of candidates takes place, election campaigns begins, then polling day. Then we have counting, tabulating and verification of who the votes takes place. So then uh, we have announcements of the results and declaration of winners, both 
presidential, uh, parliamentary, local government uh, election. Then resolving of election related disputes and complaints. If there is someone who feels that uh, the election has been stolen, so they go to the courts of law to uh, present evidence that uh, their election was uh, not free and fair or they were robbed of uh, victory. So this is it, what happens. So the electoral code of conduct is a set of rules and principles that regulates the conduct of all stakeholders before, during and after elections. So in the next lesson we'll be talking about types of elections. Thank you so much for your attention.